The Awan of Water meditation is used to seek the Awan in matters associated with learning, teaching, and chronicling. It is helpful when you seek a season of new learning and education in your life. The Awan of Water meditation is particularly useful when learning matters concerned with culture, history, and your own ancestry. The direction of water is the west. It may help when performing this meditation to face west if possible. This meditation is especially powerful if done while sitting by a body of water, such as a river, a lake, or an ocean. The season associated with the awan of the water is autumn. As you begin this meditation, visualize the sunrise on the first day of autumn. Begin with a few quiet, deep breaths. See the colors of fall in your mind's eye, the deep golds, reds, and yellows tell the story of the trees. The leaves have passed through the seasons and will soon be falling. Their passing will chronicle everything they have experienced since budding and newborn in the previous spring. The Awan of Water is the Awan of Learning. Like the falling leaves of autumn, the Awan of Water is the wisdom and the inspiration of passing through many seasons and learning the lessons each has to teach. The Awan of the Water is the Awan of Growth and Love. True wisdom always leads to love. Hatred is fear, and fear is ignorance. So the more you gain in learning and wisdom, the more your heart and spirit will naturally turn towards love. What can the Awan of Water teach you about casting aside fear and hatred and turning towards love? How can you shed your fears like the trees shed their leaves in the autumn? What knowledge and wisdom would you need to seek in order to do so? As you allow the inspiration of the Awan of Water into your own consciousness, ponder the meaning of your own personal truths. How could the Awan of Water lead you to knowledge of your own personal truths? The Awan of Water is the Awan of the Laborer in the Field. The way of the laborer is to achieve success through hard work and effort. What effort do you need to put forth in order to grow in knowledge and wisdom? What teachings can the Awan of Water lead you to? How might you work with these new teachings to grow in your own personal truths?
how might you work with this new wisdom to grow in love? The almond of water is ruled by the Dagda. He is known as the good god and the all-father of the Irish gods. He is the father and protector of the tribe. He is known by many names. One of these names is Rua Rafosa, the lord of great knowledge. He is the many-skilled creator god of the Celtic peoples. The Dagda carries a war club that can kill nine men with a single blow. But the handle of this club can restore a person to life. This club of the Dagda contains within it the mysteries of life and death. The Dagda also carries a cauldron called Kore Unsik. This is a cauldron of plenty from which no one ever left unsatisfied. What is your war club? What knowledge or wisdom do you possess that has the power to destroy or to heal? How can the Awan of Water inspire you to use this war club for the good of the tribe? What mysteries of life and death could the Awan of Water reveal to you? Danyu's gift from the Awan of Water is the cauldron of the Dada. It's a symbol of feminine power and energy. It is a cauldron of plenty from which no one ever goes away hungry. It is also the source of divine inspiration and it has the power to restore life and to purify. What is your cauldron of plenty? What bounty of wisdom and inspiration can the Awan of Water bring to you? What inspiration do you offer to others? What feminine energies are influencing your life now? What is your relationship to them? Are you at peace or at war with these feminine energies? How might the Awan of Water help your relationship to these energies change for the better?
How might the cauldron of plenty aid you in your quest for inspiration and wisdom? As this meditation on the island of water draws to a close, give thanks to Danyu and to the Dada for the cauldron of plenty they have bestowed upon you. Give thanks to Karidwin for the inspiration within the cauldron. When you are ready, in this meditation, knowing that you have received the wisdom of Karidwin's potion of inspiration that flows from the Dhaka's cauldron. 